Next is to put in your redstone repeaters all the way down. Because this is going to be where the glass will be changed and that. So if it was just changed randomly, so you're basically saying there that nothing will go through here, nothing will go through here, nothing will go through here, but anything anything behind this, whatever if attached to the ones behind these lime bl uh, wall blocks will be turned on. Let me just change today again. Okay. Uh, next is to power these. One sec, let me just add that in. Okay, so you're going to place down redstone torch here. Then uh, just take redstone down here. Uh, next, I'm going to quickly add on the bit that will take it to like the hours or minutes or whatever you want to do. So, there's redstone repeater there, redstone torch there, and here you're going to uh, do this piece of black wall, a uh, sticky piston, and any any um item that redstone can travel through so anything that's not glowstone or glass basically and then you're gonna get a redstone repeater and just place it facing forward on this so now when this is something like something like a line wall it should yeah so now that comes out so basically you could do a reverse repeat reverse um redstone thing is that what you called switch yeah see so the re first redstone switch which will turn something else on which would then take it to the next memory array so I'll show you that in a later video if we ever get to making a clock or something like that but yeah all right we'll just change this all right next thing to do is actually the outputs <laughs> now the outputs first so you can bring it two out I'm just going to delete this so we can place in redstone repeater. So what we're going to do is you're going to do redstone repeater, redstone, redstone repeater, redstone, redstone repeater, redstone, redstone repeater. It's just an easier way to do it so it's easier to play around with the outputs instead of them all being at one level otherwise. Yeah, your redstone could get mixed up. Yeah, you'll get it where the uh, redstone all links to each other and... Um whatever if if one of the outputs are on it will set off all your pistons so this is just a way to make it separate okay so you're going to drop down on every other one and you're going to place a redstone repeater now it's just placing redstone on top of these and we're going to fill it fill back in this square now so if we just if i just do a random one So I've just left the two middle ones. Yeah, we'll, we'll add another one. Okay, so uh, we've left a few little ones. Drop down one. Um, so now we're just going to fill this back in. Uh, it was... Okay. And we're going to leave this row blank again because it needs to be a dark in the corners, remember? So now... That looks all done for this bit. Now we just gotta make it so it actually turns around. Does that look done to you? Yeah, I mean you could put the uh, you could put the pistons on the output on the other side just yeah. straight away. I know, I'll just put in a couple of blank blocks so you can see it actually going around. I'm gonna show you, you can literally do it anywhere coming up. You don't have to do this pattern, by the way. This is just to show you that the uh, the redstone outputs will work wherever you put the redstone. Okay. That would that would work, wouldn't it? No. Uh, yes. You need one more. Show the bottom ones. Yeah, do it straight on. And as I work because I forgot to build that one. So 
Sorry, guys. Didn't mean for that to happen. And I've managed to link it now because of that. Well, anyway, guys, you get you get my point. Just don't don't link them to the same one. But anyway, you can see there that while that one's on, that that piston's out. While the glass there isn't on, that's not going to be out. But if I quickly replace that to that, that comes out. Okay, let's just leave that at the moment. And yeah, just fix it up to a normal. Link. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to sort this out. What you're going to do is drop this down here place redstone in there uh, redstone there redstone there and repeat it back now. yeah okay so now you got this that was just that's just drop it down one tick because as you can see over here I've had to do it a different way because since the new update it's actually stops it working so yeah okay what you're gonna do here is place redstone there we're so near one space away from it. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, I just got to check because I ain't done this in a little while. Okay. Redstone repeat. Oh, redstone repeat. Oh. Uh, block there. Block there. So you want it one space out so it retracts it in. Yeah. So, sticky piston. Sticky piston. One, pa one space away from each other. And then you're going to place redstone. And just connect them up. And this is uh, done in Minecraft 1.4.6, so this is the update fix version for it as well. So, yeah, it should work. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do just bring that back, two whole space, two redstone torches in there. So this is power into the side. This is power in here, so they don't cross at all. Uh, you can place a sticky piston there. Uh, any block behind it, redstone coming out, and then now, and you replace that with a redstone repeater on full. And basically, what will happen is when Dan puts a block in that space there, it will right cause now. the system to connect. So every time that moves round, the uh, system will go through the full block and cause it to um, set itself off, and then it will repeat that and just keep moving alternating the current so they all work at different times okay so basically this bit here as well if i just put in a few i'm going to show you what actually happens what you could do is um you could fix the back there so they're all coming off straight so you can just see the different pistons nah. rather than having them or not Okay, so there's the current, so yeah. I've put more than one green block in, but as you can see, uh, if you only put one green block in on this glass on this glass line going around, every so that's ten ticks, so you have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then on the zero you would have a green block. So basically this pushes out on the zero, setting off another ten bit or twelve bit memory array, depending on what you have, which will turn around it once. Which is like just having a button basically and it will do it automatically doing a number. So you could have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This would change to one and then that would just go up again, like so. Counting up, or you could do it counting down of course. But there's a lot more things you can do with this and yeah, well, that's basically it. So Okay, so that was a ten bit redstone memory array. Um yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll possibly get around to doing a video of a clock. Obviously, it takes a lot longer because you have to do four or five different memory arrays um, in order to count up and down. Um, okay, so rate, comment, subscribe on the video. Again, if you want us to do anything, just leave a comment in the box below and uh, we'll, we'll see if we can make it. If we can, then we'll do it for you. And uh, we hope that our tutorials help you get what you want out of Minecraft. Okay, cheers for watching, guys. Yep, rate, comment, subscribe.